Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be going over some features on the mixer and how to use automation in FL Studio. So I have a project open here with a lot of different patterns and instruments. And I'm just going to show you how we can automate some simple things like volume and different effects in order to have some variance throughout the track. And the way we can do that is you can see how right now there's no automation being done at all so if i start this track it just starts right away very abruptly there's no fade in or anything now you can either choose to fade in individual instruments or just do the whole track itself using the master track which is what we're going to do here so i'll select uh, the master track right here and you can see it has a fruity limiter on by default. If we click on that, we can go over to this gain knob, and this is gonna control the overall volume of the entire track here. So in order to automate this, we're gonna right click on it, and then we're gonna go down to where it says create automation clip. Select that, and now you can see that there's an automation clip on our timeline here. And you can adjust that by moving these little dots up or down, so quieter, louder. We're gonna start it off all the way quiet, and then if you right click on here, it'll add another dot. And I'll zoom in here so it's easier to see. And then we can adjust that. So starting from zero and then going up and in the upper left corner, as you're adjusting it, you can see the percentage of the automation. So that's 49%, that's 100%. We'll go down to maybe, let's do 51. Now, if I play the track, now it's fading in. And if I want to make it more aggressive, I can go in between these two points here and raise that up. And now it's gonna be a more aggressive fade in. All right, so that's how you do volume and we can do the same thing at the end here to close it out. Can have the last bit of it fade out like that. You can also do this with different effects. So if we go over to say the reverb that is on the recording, um, and let's say you wanted to do uh, the amount of wet it has. So create automation clip, and you can do this for most controls so they'll all have this create automation clip option all right and then we see here reverb wet level and that is on the vocals that i have here so let's see what this sounds like and i'll move it up here so i know what track this is editing start here zero and then go up like that and see how this changes things maybe bring it up there i packed my bags at the break of dawn the streets i knew now i'm moving on echoes of the past they call my name but i'm chasing skies that don't look the same the world is wide, it's calling me beyond the rivers, beyond the trees. With every mile, I'll leave a trace, a piece of me in every place. So you can hear how it's getting more of that Goodbye wet signal. To the streets where I learned to run, the corners where the story spun, leaving my hometown. And you can adjust this however you want. Maybe you only want it for certain passages. You can have that, have that in there. It's really flexible for how you want to edit this. And yeah, that is how you use automation. You can do this for all kinds of different effects. I'm just showing 
an example for reverb here. And of course, the master limiter just to fade in and fade out the entire track. So thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you learned something. Let me know if you want to see any other videos.